What is the craziest paranormal experience you've had? We were visiting my in-laws around Christmas and we were chatting in their den. Having some drinks and catching up. They had a Christmas tree in the corner of the den. Nobody was sitting near it. My husband and father-in-law we sitting in lounge chairs, and I was sitting with my mother-in-law on the couch on the opposite side of the tree. The two dogs were napping between us. We were all at least six feet away from the tree. All of a sudden their Christmas dress begins to violently shake. Like someone grabbed the trunk and was shaking dust off of it. A few ornaments fell to the ground and then it stopped. It shook for a good 10 seconds. The thing is, we were the only four in the house. The dogs were sleeping on the couch with us. The tree had been up for at least a week, so no woodland creatures hiding in it and nothing else in the house shook. No glass clinking. No other rumbling sounds. Just the tree. We checked the news to see if there was an earthquake. We checked online pre-smartphones in the newspapers, and no reports of an earthquake. We also live in an area where earthquakes are rare. So I have no clue what shook the damn tree. We all saw it. The dogs slept through it. They did not give us duck. Couple months ago I was exiting a Home Depot parking lot and saw a big truck coming in. I immediately knew what was going to happen and said out loud driver has a blue hat and will honk the truck's horn twice while turning as a way to actually believe myself if it did happen. Well guess what? I couldn't see the driver until the truck cleared the entrance, but when he did, I saw that he had a blue hat, and did honk the horn twice as he was turning right beside me. Felt like an idiot for the whole day for saying out loud what I thought it was gonna happen. But felt weirder, when it did really happen. High school girlfriend says she saw an old man in her house in the study. I laughed it off, because her house was no older than 20 years old, and how could it be haunted? I jokingly said she saw a wooden carving her parents had that resembled Jesus, because she described the man of having a big white beard. A few weeks later I was walking from the stairs, and into the kitchen where she was sitting. Out of the corner of my eye I see an older man sitting at the head of the table in the dining room. I tell her, but have to rule out my claim as the seed of belief may have been planted in my head. Months later her friend from Brazil was visiting. My girlfriend and I are fooling around upstairs and her friend burst through the door crying. In Portuguese my girlfriend asks what's wrong and her friend says she was listening to music with headphones walking around on the main floor when she ran into an old man with a white beard in the study. There was absolutely no way my girlfriend told her friend as she wasn't a believer in the paranormal and didn't make a big deal about it when she told me. To this day it is the one case in my life where I have to truly believe we all saw something in that house. I had a dream that I was at this cottage party, though I didn't recognize anyone there, but I knew them. All of a sudden, someone is knocking on the door, and about 20 people crowd around it. I'm walking up, and then everyone turns to look at me saying they're here for you. I'm like duck this no thank you, but I still go and walk up. It's this old lady kind of lying on the ground. As if she crawled up there. She's got stringy long hair and white eyes. I'm like no thank you good day ma'am. But I somehow feel comforted. I leave her at the door and walk to my room at the cottage. And there's this old man sitting in my bed. I'm like okay hey. He's like someone died recently in your life and you didn't get to say goodbye. Now is your chance. I look out the window and he's also there. I again feel comforted. Then my friend's dog woke me up. I definitely know this was about my friend who had passed away a month before. She had stage 4 stomach cancer and died within a month of knowing. It's crazy what our subconscious can do. My dad's gun safe slammed shut and I was the only one home and laying on my bed. Oh boy, my time to shine. Just thinking about what happened still kind of horrifies me. It was August of last year. I went over to a friend's house to stay the night. Only people there were me. My friend M. His GFA. And my friend at the time and now my GF. It was 2.30 at night. M was laying down for a bit. Her and N were chilling in the living room. And I went outside on my own to have a smoke. After I spark it up. I'm looking across the street from M and A's house. And right behind a small concrete brick wall I notice a head that looked like a straight shadow slightly poking above the wall. Looking at me. 
I thought it was just someone being really ducking weird, until I put two and two together. There's a street light shining directly on where this thing is and it still looks like it's complete shadow. I was smoking my cigarette and watching this thing, making sure that I didn't take my eyes off of this thing, and it's just kind of watching me and bouncing back and forth, slowly getting faster as I smoke. By the time I'm done, this thing looks like it's doing a ritual dance or some shit with how fast it was going. I put out my smoke and slowly start backing up to the front door. When I know I'm there, I fumble for the door knob for a few seconds, and as soon as I get a firm grip on it, that thing stops dead in its tracks. For what feels like an eternity I'm standing there in a staring contest with it, and slowly it starts creeping towards the side of the wall. Only then do I decide to nope the duck out of there, burst the door open, and slam it shut behind me making sure to lock it. Scared the shit out of my friends when for like a solid 10 minutes. I'm just constantly peeking through the windows looking like I just had a run in with death itself. Eventually I explain what happened to them, and confirmed they were all still inside the house like, when I went outside. We all collectively decided that we didn't need sleep that night anyway. It never showed up again throughout the night. Didn't even bother looking over in the area that I saw it the next morning. Just wanted nothing to do with it. Still don't know what exactly I saw that night. And I don't want to know. I'm no stranger to the paranormal, have had experiences with it all my life, so not a lot of it scares me, but whatever I saw that night, I could tell just from a glance that it was purely malevolent, and it absolutely terrified me. This sounds crazy, but is 100% true at least my narrative. I used to live in a mobile home trailer park growing up. There was a hallway that went from one end of the trailer to the other, with the bedrooms coming off it on one side. My bed was on the wall opposite the hallway, so I could see into the hallway, but not down either side, when I was about maybe 6, 8 years old. If I stayed awake after my dad went to sleep and stared at the doorway I would start to be able to make out a hand stretching from beyond the doorway in the hall, from the right side of the door to the left. The longer I looked the more of the hand would appear until eventually over the course of a few minutes I could see a red and white striped shirt sweater sleeve. If I continued to stare, after a longer period, the body of a boy would appear in the doorway. I specifically remember hiding under the covers most nights when this would happen, mostly at the first sight of him. I was never antagonized further than him slowly moving facing my bed from the right side of the door to the left. And if I continued to stare he would eventually disappear beyond the left threshold. We moved out of that trailer into a home when I had just turned 9 and that was the end of it. I never really thought about it. And I never told my dad or anyone else about it. Because by that time I had already chalked it up to just seeing things. And had thought it was my imagination I'm sure it probably was. About 15, 20 years later. My dad and I were talking about his best friend that had lived next door but sadly just passed away. We started talking about our trailer and the older lady that had moved in after us. My dad said something like funny enough. Dad's friend told me a few years ago that that woman used to see a little boy in a red and white shirt, like a ghost or something. I was obviously taken about and told him about what I had seen almost every night for a few years and we were both just a bit shocked at what that might mean. Never experienced anything else. But that completely stumps me. Home alone. Hear my brother's voice in the attic calling my name. Go check it out. Find the source. It's a malfunctioning yak back in a box he obviously recorded years ago. Claims not to remember. The light in the attic pops and goes out. Almost break my leg getting out of there. Sat in the driveway today I learned my parents got home. I don't consider it paranormal and all rational explanations. But I felt a deep sense of dread up there, like I was about to be harmed. When I was like 5 years old I was laying in the corridor of my house when I saw a man appear. I didn't recognize him, and he wasn't my dad. I don't think he had a face, and when he appeared the corridor went dark. He started walking towards me, so I closed my eyes. When I reopened my eyes he was gone. I don't know who he was. There is a haunted road near where I live. Numerous people have seen the ghost car. The first time I saw it I was driving, and my mom was dosing off in the passenger seat. 
I see a cloud of dust and a large, old, black car speeding out of a road on my right. I just know he is going to exit that road at the same time I'm passing by that road. We are going to collide. So I slam on the brakes. Don't even look in the rear view mirror first I just lock it up. We come to an abrupt halt. Mom comes awake. The car is gone. No dust cloud coming from the road on my right. No black car. I'm shaking asking repeatedly where the car went. She just laughs and says you saw the ghost car. I fell asleep in a hospital waiting room and I was waking up with my eyes closed when I felt someone tapping on my head like fingers playing a piano. I opened my eyes and nobody was there. Bought one of those Christmas themed microphones. Right. It was one where you could press the button and it would play North Pole radio and had all these cool sound effects and stuff. It was cute and like 5 so I bought it. Well if you hold down the button you can talk into it and when it plays back the pitch is all high and your voice sounds like a chipmunk. You all know what I mean. Anyways I'm playing with it one day a few months ago with my daughter 6 Malia at the time. She's not paying attention so I'm talking into the microphone and trying to get her to look over at me. Well I go to play it back and instead of stopping at the end of the recording. The ambient white noise like shifted slightly, and I swear to g-o-d-d-d-d something started to speak. Only clear word I got was my name. And like I said, it's supposed to alter your pitch higher and this voice was deep. I freaked out, threw it away outside, and called my boyfriend. Asked him to come home early that day, not exactly paranormal, but it was awful. This is an odd one I have yet to find a rational explanation for. Last summer, I once prayed offhand for a bottle of vodka while walking my uncle's dog one day, while preparing for an emotional response to the then incoming death of my grandmother, and one literally fell from the sky into a bush on my right hand side a few seconds later, intact and unopened. I walked around the block once again, to make sure what had just happened had actually happened, then picked it up, opened it, drank it and did 7 more laps, while thinking of rational explanations as to where it had came from. There was nowhere obvious it could have come from. Consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more of Reddit Universe.